what's up guys we have another video and today we're gonna get a new drum kit yeah we're gonna pick up a Roland TD KV oh my god what's it called KVX TD 17 KVX and you're gonna be able to play that one as well and I'm gonna tell you guys all about the kit and when I get it this has been a big decision for me. I didn't take this decision lightly and I did a lot of research into electronic kits. I gotta admit I'm a little bit of a purist at heart and I've delayed the electronic kit, but the continued lockdowns means that we're stuck in the house. I can't play acoustic drums in my house, no way. So we're going there. We're gonna have to get an e-kit. Five minutes later. Okay, we, we just got this kit and we were, just, and we were so hungry so we just got a treat for us and yeah. What's our treat gonna be? Uh, all right we made it back it's quite amazing really that this kit is all in just two boxes which is uh, very compact and the mission is to swap over my old kit which I had a low volume setup going on with mesh heads and the low volume Zildjian cymbals swap it all over give the room a little bit of a tidy up because it's a little bit of a mess and um, yeah let's see how we go Hey what is up we've got the skeleton we've got the stands and basically I guess the hardware all sorted now give you a full shot of that I'm sure there'll be a bit of tinkering height-wise and stuff, but just follow the instructions as per the box and it was pretty straightforward. Uh, a few observations so far, I'm really impressed. Little things like the felts on the cymbal stands and overall everything seems really solid. So I think one of my fears was that this was going to be a little bit plasticky and it doesn't feel like that at all. It actually feels very sturdy and solid and reassuringly heavy in a way not heavy in terms of it'll be heavy to cut around but just yeah just solid so so far so good and let's check on the symbols and the pads Alrighty, we're all done. There she is. And I guess the key sort of information at this point is, you know, how long did this take to set up? The frame it took about 45 to 50 minutes. Uh, getting the symbols up took a little bit longer than expected. So I think this whole next step took about 45, 50 minutes as well. So about an hour and a half, hour 40 minutes in total. You know what? I'm a little bit nervous. Um, which might sound weird, but being an acoustic player for so long and I guess a purist or, or a snob if you want to uh, use that term. Um, you know, I had my reservations about e-kits and yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous, but um, we will see how we go. All right, guys, that's going to be enough for today. That was just my sort of uh, initial reactions and sort of excitement of actually getting the kit and choosing it. And uh, this is sort of the deal breaker here. This kit actually uses a real hi-hat stand. And yeah, that was a non-negotiable for me. So yeah, that was a big part of the reason why I ended up choosing this kit. And um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. I've had a lot of sort of questions and queries um, about you know what I was going to do in terms of e-kit. So I'll keep you guys updated. And I think on the next one, I'll basically just let you know what I think of it, how I how it feels to play and sort of what are the key considerations in terms of getting an e-kit you know you're always sort of want I guess you want it to feel as much like a real kit as possible so yeah we will um we will see I'll keep you guys updated see you on the next one catch ya